Neeraj is walking at a speed of 20 km per hour, reaches his college 10 minutes late. Next time, he increases his speed by 5 km per hour, but finds that he is still late by 4 minutes. What is the distance of his college from his house? So, we have to find out the distance between college and house. Here, distance is constant because first time he walked 20 km per hour, second time he walked 25 km per hour. So, he is walking to his college from his house. So, distance is common here. So, we have to find out speed ratio and time ratio. Here, speed is first time he walked 20 km per hour, second time he increases speed by 5 km. That means 20 plus 5, 25 km per hour. So, when you take the ratio, 5 5s are 25, 5 4s are 20. So, 4 by 5 is the speed ratio. That means time ratio is reverse of this speed ratio because distance is constant. So, this is 5 by 4. And difference between 5 parts and 1 part, 4 parts is 1 part. And here you can see when he travel at 20 km per hour, he will be late by 10 minutes. When he travels at 25 km per hour, he will be late by 4 minutes. So, difference between 4 and 10 and 4 is equal to 6 minutes. So, that is 1 part is equal to 6 minutes here. That means 4 part is equal to 4 into 6 is equal to 24 minutes. So, distance is equal to distance is equal to here, if you take 25 km per hour, then if you take 25 km per hour, then you should take 4 parts. If you take 20 km per hour, then you should take 5 parts. So, here I am taking 25 km per hour. That means 4 parts is equal to 24 minute. 24 minute means 25, 4 by 60 minute, 60 hour. Because this is 25 km per hour. So, you have to convert minute to hour. That is 24 by 60. So, 12 fives are 60. 12 into 2, 24. 5 fives are 24. 5 into 2, 10. So, 10 kilometer is the distance. Option C is your answer.